Well, hey, how's it going, everybody? It's about uh, 5.30. I'm going to meet Boone down at the train, Sukhumvit Station, probably about 6.30. We're going to run around. I'm not sure where she wants to go. I'm sure food will be involved, maybe catch a movie. It's uh, Saturday night in Bangkok. And there's the Prompong BTS. I'm going to ride one stop up to Asol. She said she jumped on a water taxi, but she lives out in Lap Prao, so I'm not sure how she did that, but... I'll figure it out. I'm going to meet her uh, near Terminal 21, and then we'll go from here. They said it's going to rain tonight, like a 70% chance, but the skies are clear here at uh, 6 o'clock. Normally when it rains here in town, 3, 4 in the afternoon, or it's not going to rain at all, and then 2, 3 hours, unless it's a storm, then it can rain for two days straight. It's kind of a busy night on the train. Good to see everybody's heading out. Enjoying their Saturday night. And this is looking off the BTS at a soap down Soy 14. There's a nice little food court right at the bottom. I forget the name. And a bunch of uh, six and eight story condos. A couple of small hotels. Soy 14, 12, 10. These are really nice places to uh, consider renting a condo or getting a hotel. And this is the Asok BTS MRT Junction. If you're going to have trouble anywhere in Bangkok, it might be at this train station. This is kind of the Grand Central train station. There's uh, pickpockets and scam artists work in this area. Most of which come from other countries. I've seen, uh, oh, there was a guy, he, he was either from Sri Lanka or I don't think it was Indian. But he was... Uh, definitely running a scam in this area I, I just walked away from him but yeah be careful at this Asok area I, anywhere between Asok and Nana that's kind of where all the grifters hang out I hate to say it because I'm a pretty friendly guy but basically if anybody approaches you and says hey do you speak English just say yes if you do and walk away that is not going to end well it'll be some I need help exchanging money or can I see what color the Thai money looks like and a little sleight of hand and you're out a couple thousand baht. Yeah, just don't do it and be extra careful with the wallet in the back pocket, even, even the cell phone. You get that slight bump or whatever. People running in teams, somebody approaches you and asks you what time it is as somebody is uh, taking that iPhone 15 out of your back pocket. And that's looking down at a Sulk Montre. Soy Cowboys just on the other side. Terminal 21 is off to my left. And there's a bridge coming off the uh, BTS of Soak, walking straight into the Terminal 21 mall. But if you're going from the above ground, the BTS, to the MRT, the below ground subway, you'll take these stairs off to the right, head underground. And there's the stairs heading down to the MRT. You can use your visa if it, if it has the uh, Wi-Fi or what is it called, the contactless symbol on it. At many of the MRT stations. I know you can use it on the blue and the yellow. The BTS takes a rabbit card, cash, well, cash in the machines, or walk up to the window and buy us a, a single ticket. They keep changing the rules, but the rabbit card, generally speaking, it's for the BTS only. I think you can use it at some food courts, and I'm not sure where else. I just use it for the BTS. However, I believe the new yellow MRT line is accepting the rabbit card. I don't know. I've only been on the yellow line once and I bought a single ticket. I do know Boone takes the yellow and blue often and she just taps her Visa card. And it's not really on the corner. That is Sukhumvit on the right and a Sulk Mantri here in front of me. So whatever this is, 400 meters maybe. There is the Soy Cowboy sign. And even if you're not into the red light district, it's worth a look. There are plenty of bars, kind of outdoor seating area. You can sit and watch some of the most interesting people watching in the world. There's a, there's plenty of bars behind closed doors, and I'll just leave it to your imagination uh, what's happening there. That's up to you. But just checking out the street, absolutely. Go check it out. Have a beer. Soak up the energy. Yeah, and unfortunately this gentleman in the tank top, he's uh, pretty upset. Ran over to the security guard. The security guard sent him over to this young lady. He's complaining about something. I think somebody grabbed his chain from around his neck. Again, as 
small a crime issue that there is here in Bangkok, if something is going to happen, it's going to happen in this super busy area where you're walking in between 100 people. Yeah, even my backpack on my back, I kind of sling it around front just in case somebody's uh, unzipping it and sticking their hand in there. So I met Boone. We're down here at Soy 17. We're going to take a right walk over by Charlie Brown's Mexicana. It is Saturday night and it's a very popular place. So most of the tables might be reserved, but maybe we'll get lucky. I, what time is it? It's not even seven, is it? Seven, seven o'clock. So yeah, maybe we'll slide in there and get a plate of food. We were thinking about going to the barbecue place, Best Beef, but I'm not starving, and that's an all-you-can-eat uh, fiesta. So I'm gonna save that for uh, a two-hour meal. And here it is in the alley in between Soy 17 and Soy 19, not even a three-minute walk from uh, Terminal 21 or the Asok BTS, Charlie Brown's Mexicana. And I see people sitting outside, so that means the inside tables are probably booked, but let's give it a try. So we lucked out and uh, slid into a small table for two, and I just ordered up a pitcher of uh, frozen margaritas. I think it's about 1,050 baht for a pitcher, but it's seven small margaritas. If you come on Tuesday, it's half price pitcher. And we went with a pitcher tonight. And I always get an extra chips and salsa here. The first one is free, but I was talking to Primo, the cook. He uses uh, imported jalapenos and all, so he can't afford to just keep giving free chips and salsa. But even this is nothing. I want to say 170 baht. It's homemade chips. Probably the best salsa I've had in Bangkok. Good stuff. Here at uh, Charlie Brown's Mexicana. And we moved out to the patio. Boone was dying with the air conditioner. It's too cold for her, and every table is taken. So we're sitting out on the patio, no big deal. We've got a nice fan blowing and uh, I'm drinking a nice cold margarita. Yeah, come on in and say hi to uh, Primo, the head chef, really good guy, making some delicious food here. Charlie Brown's Mexicana. Uh, you'd probably be smart to make a reservation on a Friday and Saturday or Taco Tuesday, although I think it's more a Margarita Tuesday than a Taco Tuesday. But you can see every table is booked solid here at 7 p.m. Some people just got up and left, and I tried to grab that table to get away from the air conditioner, and she said, no, I'm sorry. Somebody asked for that table, probably for the same reason, to not have the ice-cold AC blowing on them. It doesn't bother me one bit, but the ties, yeah, they're not really down on... Uh, sitting five feet from an air conditioner. Boone went with the, what is that, the Cameroon salad? The shrimp looks delicious with chunks of mango and what is that, Mexican cheese? Good looking stuff. And I got, I don't know what it's called, the Charlie Brown platter, I think. It's a taco, beans, an enchilada, and a chimichanga, looking good. Hey, that was some good Mexican food. I'm pretty full, but we came over to Soy 31. One for the road. Beer, cocktails, live music. Go in and uh, have another drink. See where the night takes us. Yeah, one for the road. We just ordered up a couple of Coronas. A little expensive. I think they're 250 baht. But uh, such is life in the kind of trendy cocktail bars. Trendy beer in town, Budweiser. And I'm having a Corona. Likes the tunes. Yeah, I like it too. Now, one for the road used to be up on Soy 11. It's down here, halfway up Soy 31 now. Yeah, worth a look. Drinks are a little expensive, but it's a good hangout.
having a good time hanging out. Okay, it's a good time hanging out, but I had a big, huge plate of food, and then I ate half a Boone's meal, and now I'm a couple of Coronas in on top of the margarita. So we're just hanging out, relaxing, but Boone's enjoying the tune, so that's cool.
Hey, so that was a fun time. It's about uh, 11.15. We just started up a grab car. We're going to head back to the condo. And then who knows, maybe hang out still early. Maybe head out later, but margaritas and the beers are catching up with uh, Boone and myself a little bit. But go back, hang out in the condo, and then uh, at 2 or 3 in the morning, if we want to go back out, maybe we will. So thank you so much for watching. There'll be more videos to come. We will see you later.